Well, let's have a look at the latest weather now with Susan Powell. Hi. Afternoon, Sophie. It wasn't the most appealing mornings, really, to be heading out to Olympic Park. It did brighten briefly, but now we are seeing drizzly outbreaks of rain getting carried across us on the wind once again. For the afternoon, I'm pretty hopeful, though, that the rain will eventually clear through to the north. We will be left with a lot of cloud, and it is pretty cool as well, partly thanks to the breeze, but obviously due to the covering of cloud across the UK as well. Scotland's faring very well. We had a chilly start here, but lots of sunshine. It's warmed up quite nicely. Elsewhere, a lot more cloud around but some breaks to the south. I'm hopeful we should see some sunshine for the southwest of England, for example, this afternoon. But more cloud to come for Wales and for Northern Ireland and the northwest of England, perhaps some heavier and more persistent rain. Scotland should remain dry throughout the afternoon, and highs here of 17 or 18 are perfectly possible. For East Anglia and the southeast, still the possibility of some drizzly rain in the next few hours. We've still got the individual uh, equestrian events to take place this afternoon, the jumping there in Greenwich, and I think we are looking at a relatively fine afternoon, just patchy light drizzle, not the storms that caused some problems for the eventers in recent days. In terms of our other events this afternoon, perhaps the tennis most likely to be affected by any light rain, but the beach volleyball and the hockey are rather more resilient. As we look on to this evening, the skies should actually finally begin to clear the rain, pushing its way further north across the UK. Heavier for a time across southern Scotland and Northern Ireland, perhaps a couple of inches for Scotland, 50 millimetres or so before we're through. And then by the end of the night, some more rain pushing into the west of the UK. The wind also strengthening as well. That could be a factor, certainly for some of our Olympic events taking place midweek. But a much brighter start to the day on Wednesday for the southeast of England and East Anglia. More rain, though, for Scotland and the totals mounting here. Some heavier rain for a time through the early part of the day towards the west of the UK and then some showers pulling across into the East Midlands, East Anglia and the southeast later. But all of that said, despite the wind and the outbreaks of rain, we are looking at a much milder day than today, up to 23 or 24 degrees Celsius, for example, in the Olympic Park. The only problem we may see due to the weather tomorrow, I think, could be for the men's and women's time trial taking place at Hampton Court. We saw what the showers did uh, during the weekend to the cycling events. Thursday's prospects, drier, brighter, some showers for the southwest of England, perhaps. But overall, I think towards the end of the week, our weather should become a little bit quieter in terms of the rainfall, but it could then be the wind that comes into play further. Find out more, though, how the weather affects Olympic events and, of course, the forecast for any events you may be attending by taking a look around on our website. But that's it from me. Back now to Sophie. Thank you very much. At, at uh, quarter to two, a reminder of our top story.